Architecture touches on so many different aspects of what it is to be human. It's culture and aesthetics, obviously, but it's also politics, economics, urban planning, landscape and history. It's helping us find our place in the world with a future that is very uncertain. But it is so important not to lose confidence in what that future could be. And for me, M Pavilion is a part of that. To me, M Pavilion is such a wonderful place because it nurtures community, collectivity, the coming together of people. M Pavilion to me utilizes all that is best from the knowledge and expertise and wisdom of the architecture and design world and uses that knowledge to build exciting, innovative and welcoming spaces where human beings can gather and flourish. M Pavilion is a wonderful gathering place where we can come together to celebrate our love of art, design, the built form and of course it's accessible to everyone and M Pavilion, using the existing spaces, provides a shining light on those people that make Melbourne so special. M Pavilion provides this, this moment in time every year where you can almost feel the creative energy vibrating out of it. For me personally, it also gives me this connection to the gardens and the civic spaces and, and, the, and the river and Bitterung over the summer period, um, which I just find to be so deeply satisfying. And I can't wait to get back there, um, not necessarily to the Queen Victoria Gardens this year, but back under the many incredible structures of M Pavilion around the city and, and getting back in to, to kind of claim our city and, and start to feel that creative energy once again in the heart of Melbourne. I'm really looking forward to that. In terms of how I feel, M Pavilion is supporting creatives and reviving art and design in the time of the pandemic. I actually think this is a really wonderful opportunity for everybody to go and visit the uh, previous M Pavilions in their new locations and to once again be inspired by the many great ideas and people that are brought together in this hub of Melbourne's community. This year in particular, the support of the M Pavilion team and the Naomi Milgram Foundation for local creatives such as ourselves has been a little ray of sunshine. One of the major things that has come out of the Melbourne COVID lockdown through all these months has been the quietness of opportunities. But the invitation to design a stool for this year's event season has been such a delightful pick me up and we felt very supported. Thank you, M Pavilion. M Pavilion is one of the great assets in Melbourne's cultural calendar, connecting creative thinking, diverse voices, and really visionary architecture. And these all contribute to a dialogue about connecting people and place. M Pavilion reminds us that gathering and placemaking are important features of our society. They're the things that stitch our society together. And M Pavilion really creates this platform for the exchange of ideas. I've been listening to M Pavilion's amazing collection of extraordinary interviews, discussions, conversations, interrogations that have taken place over many years. And it's been an incredible reminder of how important these types of cultural exchanges are within the life of our city when we have such an engaged community. Having followed M Pavilion since the very beginning, I've always been impressed by it, not just as a presentation of innovative architecture, but as an innovative presentation of architecture uh, through its very robust series of talks, workshops, performances, and other forms of programming. It's a way of reinforcing the idea that architecture is, of course, not just about uh, materials and, and construction and form and fabrication, though those are important, uh, but more importantly perhaps it's about the people, ideas, communities and discussions that it brings together. That architecture is inseparable from what happens in and around it. These are questions that uh, all of us are sort of rethinking at the moment and with its uh, robust and, and, and thoughtful uh, a, a 
approach. Uh, it's very exciting to see how M Pavilion is adapting and will continue to adapt. So congrats uh, to a great run so far and here's to much more to come. Thank you. To be in a place that um, has been framed by the experiment and the speculations of architects who've been welcomed to create this gift for Melbourne. And of course this year will be a bit different. Uh, we're all rethinking uh, what gathering, what the public space uh, even means. But of course that's what M Pavilion inspires for us every year to put ourselves um, in this place that uh, you know occupies a space in a garden that we pass by all the time, occupies a space in our imagination, um, but also allows us to occupy a space of ideas, a space of contest and a space that broadens our horizons. A lot of uh, creative people have lost a lot this year. There's been a lot of things that have been cancelled. Um, you know, a lot of people haven't been able to make work entirely, which is really sad, but I think it really shows the resilience that um, many of us are still able to get up and try something new and um, different, a different way of thinking and approach what we do with like a fresh perspective. And I definitely think that M Pavilion has done that. And by providing this program for um, our locals and our local creators to be a part of, it's heartwarming to see that they um, care about the community and they're willing to do what it takes to make sure things go ahead and that we can still make work and still enjoy the art that, you know, enriches our lives and that we all love. So thanks, M Pavilion. Tandarum is a ceremony enacted by the nations of the Kulin people and other Victorian Aboriginal nations, allowing safe passage and temporary access and the use of land and resources by foreign people. The parallels between the original custodians of this place and the philosophy of Emperor are amazingly aligned. Tanderum was more than a ceremony. It was a meeting of diverse peoples to discuss important issues of the day. This coming together and meeting is at the core of the Aboriginal culture and has been transported through tens of thousands of years to become the DNA of modern Melbourne. We love to come together in so many forms for eating, culture, public debate and sport. We do this both in closed spaces and out in the open. M Pavilion parallels this annual meeting and celebrates the coming together of creative and inquisitive people of great diversity in a temporary shelter, shelter pavilion that touches the ground gently before moving on for another year. Well done M Pavilion on yet another amazing program for 2020. RACV is incredibly excited to collaborate with M Pavilion, bringing people together in Melbourne, regional Victoria and beyond. Since 2019, the partnership between M Pavilion and RACV has been a strong union of shared values around community, advocacy, creativity and collaboration. We can't wait to reconnect with our community, hear what's important to them and share some really exciting and new creative experiences along M Pavilion. Hello, I'm David Janotta. I'm one of the 2017 M Pavilion architects. If you ask me what the M Pavilion means to me, I can only say it's a place of friendship. A place where I made many new friends and where I had many interesting debates about the city and art. A place that has become very dear to me. M Pavilion has become a place where the debate about the city and arts and culture in general can take place at all levels. The M Pavilion program has been proven to be very versatile over the years. I can't wait to see what this year will bring. My name is Chelsea Hickman. I am the artist and fashion designer who designed and made the uniforms for M Pavilion's 2020-2021 season. M Pavilion have set an example in their sustainability consideration for this project that will surely inspire other organisations to consider their environmental impact when creating staff uniforms. I think M Pavilion is innovative and fearless in their approach to knowledge sharing. And I think it's important for our city that M Pavilion continues to facilitate conversations around complex issues and future focused ideas. For me, M Pavilion is much more than a physical pavilion or a piece of temporary architecture. It's a place to come together, to encounter and exchange creative ideas. 
M Pavilion gives us an important way to test and explore new ways of living together. It's a public commitment of which we can all celebrate and it's never been more important than in the time of pandemic that we're currently in. So congratulations M Pavilion and I wish you all the very best for this year's program.